I hate pretty much everything that I make. Um, I'm making this video now, I guess, because it's just relevant <laughs> to me, especially now. But yeah, I, 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 uh, I hate everything that I make. Um, and I might sound weird to you if you're not a creative person, but if you are a creative person, you know, what I'm, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you've made, if you've made things before, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> and the reason I'm bringing this up, the reason I'm telling you about this is because if you go into an artistic project, not expecting to hate the thing that you make, when you find yourself hating the thing that you're making, you probably will be surprised. You'll be like, where did this come from? Um, and it still surprises me. It still surprises me when I end up hating the thing that I make. I'm like, wow, I hate this. Like I started off liking it, but now I hate it. Um, and, uh, so if, if you're, if you're just getting started out and <laughs> you should probably be aware that that's very likely to happen. Um, when I end up hating something, it typically is during the process of making it real. So, you know, what we talked about before creating art is kind of like you pull an idea from the ether and then it's so pure in, in the ether the form is beautiful, it's so nice, and then as it becomes more and more real, it becomes like more and more gross, disgusting, warty, real. You know, the process of making it real is the process of making it imperfect. And if you had this vision in your head, which was perfect, then as you make it more and more real, it becomes more and more imperfect until it becomes this warty, disgusting mess, <laughs> and you just hate it. You hate it because the expectations and the reality are so off. They're so off that you just cannot help but hate it. Um, and that's, uh, that's something you should probably prepare yourself for if you're going to be making things. Because if, if you don't prepare yourself for that, then and it creeps up on you, then you may allow yourself to give in to that hate. And if you do, then you might not finish it. And that's actually what happens to a lot of people. Here's something interesting, okay? Everything I've finished, everything that I've actually gotten done, I have looked back on at some point in the future and thought, this was fine. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna look back and love it or anything, but um, I think this was fine. This was not so bad. I thought it was really bad, but it really wasn't that bad. And with enough distance, I can even like consume my own art and be like, yeah, this is pretty good, you know? Like, enjoy it. Enjoy it with some distance. And uh, as you can tell, I haven't, I haven't figured this out. I haven't gotten even close to figuring it out, okay? Maybe there's nothing to figure out. Maybe this is just what life is. And this is partially why I'm keeping myself to this daily schedule stuff, just to nip the perfectionist instinct in the bud. Making art is hard. It's hard, man. It is extremely difficult. And if you're not prepared for hating the thing that you once loved, and that feeling can really sneak up on you and make you want to give up on what you're doing. And uh, I don't think you should. I don't think you should give up. I think you should make it.